Uh, hello, folks. I thought today I'd show you uh, how to play Stratomatic Hockey. Uh, just before I start, I thought I'd show off the play map that I got made uh, from Stratomatic Hockey Facebook group. Francois Bovillier, or Bellevue. Um, here it is here, his name. Uh, if, there's actually one that he made with uh, Carolina and Hartford. Uh, he makes really cool ones, and he'll also do basketball mats for you and stuff. So it's kind of a cool little introduction. I thought he'd star that. So for Stratomatic Hockey, first thing you do is you put down your lines. So I'm going to start with Toronto. This is my final of my Stratomatic. I've done a sort of a mini um, regular season. Everybody plays about six games against their own division. And then I have playoffs, usually best of three. Unless it's an actual playoff of the year before, then I'll replay it in a best of seven. Uh, so what I've come down to, the two final teams are Colorado and Toronto. First thing you do when you play Stratomatic Hockey is you get an action deck. And you count off eight cards and you put down um, a ch line change marker. And you play uh, seven cards and eight and seven, any combination that you want. Um, that will have each of the lines coming out for approximately five minutes. Um, now, when I go on to the um, second and third period, I don't play the fourth lines. Just thinking in a playoff game, usually the fourth lines only get between five and eight minutes a night. So I limit my guys to the five and I play with the rest of the cards. So this is how we start out. Uh, you can flip an action deck for face-offs. I use a 20-sided die. So when I roll, I have an 18. And I had this face-up chart made up where I think someone gave it to me. Pretty handy-dandy. So for 18, it's going to be visitor right winger if they're even. And what you do is you check the face-off rating of each player. So Nazim Kadri, you can see, is a plus one. And actually, but on Colorado, Landis Gog is the best one. He's a plus two. Take the best place off player, and Matthews is a plus three. So it's going to be plus one towards Toronto. So if I check that 18 plus one, it's going to say inferior any player. So inferior any player is going to get control of the puck. So it's going to go to Colorado. And what I usually do, give it to the player who's the best passer against the weakest defense. So Bunting is a two on defense. And Nikushkin is what they call a JKL passer. He's got pass in all three columns, so I'll give the puck to him. And both teams are playing three offense, two four checkers. You can see that here. And I pull an action card, and I just read three offense, and this is going to be lose to opponent. So Nikushkin loses it to Bunting. And read the next card, which is passing B. So passing B would be... Inside shot for the right winger, intimidate with the left defense. So Marner's going to have the shot, and Taves can intimidate. And Taves' intimidation rating is 1 to 4. So you pull um, split deck action card, and intimidation on this one takes puck away, possible penalty. So he takes it away. Now he's a penalty is a D rating. So if I pull the next card, if it is... 16 or higher, he's going to get a penalty, and it's a four, so there's no penalty. So basically, Taves took the puck away, and there was no penalty. Uh, next card, opponent offense three, two, opponent defense nine. And for Brody, that would be take away outside shot only. So Brody takes it away. Let's go on outside shot. It's a six, lose to defensive right winger. So Nakushkin picks it up. Uh, passing C for Nikushkin. Outside shot for the center. So Kadri's got the outside shot. And to penetrate, what you do is you check the number in the corner. If it's 1 to 20, going to penetrate against the opposite player. So that's what he would do. He is a 4 penetrating against a 4 defense, which is going to be uh, 1 to 8. And I've got them all memorized. I've been playing this for 40-some 40, 40 years. Uh, if it is 21 to 25, you're going to penetrate against the lefty. And if it's 26 to 30, you penetrate against the right D. So you can penetrate against Austin Matthews, but he's going to make a pass. He's a JKL passer. 
which is usually one to 12 on a 20 sided die or 60% chance. So he's gonna pass, so you just grab an action card, you read passing, and it says against even inside shot for center or left winger. So he's gonna make a play to land a Scott, he's got an inside shot. It's a nine and on the card it reads X DL left winger. So it's an inside shot. And it's X means save, so it's going to go over the left winger, and Bunting picks it up. Three on two, opponent defense one. And Dukushkin picks it up and intimidate with the right winger, Mitch Marner. I always intimidate. He intimidates one to three. It is going to be a 12, so he didn't do it. So inside shot for Nikushkin. Shoots five. It's a goalie rating. So for goalie rating, you, it's a chance to score, and you check the goalie card. So three, four, six is a goal, and two, one to ten is a goal. So here's the shot by Nikushkin. It's a seven, and a seven is save either demon. Picks up control of the puck. So Morgan Riley or Brody. Um, again, I check the defense. Taves and Makar are both... Fours and fives, which are pretty good. So I'll give it to the better passer, who is Riley, who's a JKL, and Brody is just a JK. So Riley's got it. Three on two. Inside shot, any player in too many opposition. I've got to give it to Matthews. And when you do this, you have to rotate it. So next time, we would have to go to Marner. And you rotate it based on offense rating. So he's a four. Marner's also a four. So first one, I'm going to give to Matthews, and then I'd rotate it. So intimidate with Kadri. Kadri can intimidate one to five. And the intimidation card is a four. So Kadri takes the puck away from Matthews. He doesn't get the shot. And we're going to the next card. And it's going to be opponent defense 11, which is going to be a penalty on Austin Matthews. And we're going to see what type of penalty it is. I'm just going to roll a 20-sided die. And 17... Two minutes, and if the other player is a double A, he's also getting two minutes. And Kadri's a B, so it's going to be two minutes to Matthew. So Colorado's going on the power play, and I'm just going to take out the best defensive players for Toronto. And I think what you're going to see is I will bring out Tavares and Marner. They're both fours. And for the power play for Colorado, I think I'm just going to leave these guys out there. And what you do on a power play is you count off three cards. Three cards works out to two minutes. Put it end a penalty and put it back. So for the faceoff, we have a seven. And on a power play, the center gets a plus three on the power play team. So we have Linus Dog, who's plus two. And Varus is plus three, but we add three to Landeskog. That makes him a five. So five against three is going to be a plus two for Colorado. So we go to seven plus two. It's going to be superior left winger. So Landeskog picks it up. Now, since the um, penalty was, and for penalties, what you do is you're going to count down to 19. You do one for the card for the faceoff. And Landis is going to deke. And a four against a power play is going to be one to 13. So he's going to deke one to 13. So that would be one more. Every time you pull a card, it's one. And, oh, he doesn't do it. So puck goes over to Marner. Marner can skate or ice it. I think I'm just going to ice it for now. If he skates, Marner would move four. He's just going to ice it. So one for the card. And it says puck ice lefty a 13 gets control. So we did ice it. So one and then one, two, three, four for that. And we flip over an action card. Every time you come to 7, 13, and 19, you flip a card. Riley's got it. He's going to ice it. Puck ice. Power play team outside shot only for the left winger. So one, two, three, four, five. One for the card, four for icing. And outside shot only for Landis Gog. He's going to shoot. It is a seven. Save over the left winger. Tavares is going to ice it. And it is Buck Ice. Lefty is a 12. So if you take a look, 
FD 12, 13, 14, they're all takeaway pucks. So one, two, three, four, five. Again, one for the action card, four for icing. And we're gonna have to change the forward lines after this. And Morgan Riley, I think, is just gonna ice it in this penalty. And he does ice it. Outside shot only for right winger. So Nakushkin's got an outside shot. We're still on the power play section. Last chance, number nine, save. Any player gets control. We'll give it to Morgan Riley. And that is the end of the penalty. And we'll have to change the forward lines. So Marner, Bunting, Matthews go off. Kerfet, Neeler, and Tavares will come out. Uh, Kadri, Nikushkin, Landis got go off. McKinney comes out. Now, I'm not going to change my D simply because I do mine a little bit different. I worked out all the real percentages or ice times for players. So I'll go one, two, three, four. These guys will have uh, eight cards for the first line, uh, seven cards for the second line, seven cards for the third line, eight cards for the fourth line. And for the D-men, I double shift the D-men in the first period. That way they come out to about 25 minutes for the hockey game. So I worked it all out. It's on my Gitch um, Strat WordPress.com website. You can see all the, the math I did. Uh, so Toronto has a puck. They are going to, again, I'll just do this for 50 minutes or so. Just to, Maybe I'll go through this shift. So just so you have an understanding of how to play strat hockey. Um, I do have a bit of a cold. I thought I'd feel better, but still don't feel great. So Mark Morgan Riley has the puck. And when you change lines, you can adjust your offense. So Toronto, I might go to a 2-2 for them. They're going against the big gun line of uh, Lekkonen, McKinnon, and Mikko Rantanen. And they have Kerfoot, Tavares, and Nylander. So Toronto's going to go to a 2-2. So because they're in 2-2, I'm going to read offense to... You have one for home and one for visitor. Toronto's a visitor, so it's going to be passing F. And passing F on Morgan Riley's card is outside shot for left winger. So outside shot for Kerfoot. So with outside shot, he can pass, penetrate, or shoot. And I think he's going to pass. He is, Kerfoot is a JKL passer. So 60% chance, two good scores. So he's going to pass. And passing K. So passing K, go inside shot to William Nylander. So Nylander is going to get an inside shot. Let her rip. It's a six. It's going to be a goalie rating. So goalie rating by Lena Letter, who's shooting on Darcy Kemper. Kemper seven is a goal. So is 11 and a three. Three is one to 12. There's a shot. It's an eight save, any forward gets control. So Camper comes up with the big save. So each goalie's made one goalie rating save. And again, I try and pick the worst defensive player. Nylander is a one, Kerfoot is a two. And I think I'll probably give it to Lekkonen. It's only a JK, I like to have a JKL, but I like going against the one defense. And Toronto's going, I mean, Colorado's three on two. Uh, loose puck, inside shot for any player. So this is going to go inside. I think I'll give it to Nylander. Lackanen can intimidate one to six. And the intimidation takes puck away, possible penalty. Lackanen takes it away. It is going to be 16 to 20 is a penalty. And it is an eight. So there's no penalty. He takes it away. Here comes Lackanen, three on two. Uh, passing C. Passing C is loose puck. Inside shot for right winger, intimidate with Lekin, and he will, one to six. And intimidation is an eight, so he doesn't do it. Here comes Nylander, one to six, he's got an inside shot. Shoots at number five, XDRW. So save, goes over the right winger, ranting and picks it up, brings it back for Colorado. Three on two, possible breakaway for Colorado. You go to an action card. Breakaway reads left D if he's a two or more. And the left D is Taves. And Taves' breakaway is a three. So he's going to get a breakaway. Von Taves is going to shoot. It's an eight save. Big rebound. Rebound comes out. 
Defensive rate D if he's a two. And Brody is a five. So he is going to pick up that rebound. He's got it and he brings it right back. Two on two. Passing E. Brody passing the outside shot for Nylander. Nylander's got it. It is a 26 on the last action card. So he's going to uh, penetrate against the right D. And that is Makar. He's a four. So four and four is one to eight. Nylander is going to pass. And passing inside shot for the left winger. So Nylander gets it inside to Kerfoot. Kerfoot a great chance. Shoots. Eight is always a rebound. So save, rebound, rebound comes out. Defense, any player with four. We've got a bunch out here for Colorado. And we will give it to, uh, maybe we'll give it to Makar because we have to change lines. So now I would change the demon. And Toronto's third line is coming out. And that is going to be Camp McCaff. An angle, and for Colorado, their third line is going to be Camper O'Connell and Burakovsky. Change the D, their second set of D is going to be Josh Manson and Gerard. So maybe I'll just go through one last little bit, see how long we've been here. Uh, I've been about 60 minutes, maybe I'll do four more and change it up um so two third line teams i'm going to play two two for each josh manson has the puck and lose to opponent muzzin has got it he loses it to the opponent manson's got it you can see the game's got a lot of flow once you know what you're doing passing e loose puck outside shot camp his passing he's a j passer so one to eight for passing on a 20 set of die. I think he's just going to shoot, get some shots on net, maybe a rebound. Uh, nine X DR right wing save over the right winger. Uh, possible breakaway for the Colorado Avalanche. So again, you grab from the action deck, breakaway right wing. Uh, so it wouldn't be him because he had the puck. So uh, right wing if uh, breakaway to penetration is a three or more. It would go to Comfer. Um, actually, no, it would go to O'Connor. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, because he's the uh, you guy checking for it. So he's only a two, so puck goes over the other side. Uh, two on two, opponent defense, five. Uh, outside shot for right winger. Engvall's got it. Um, he is going to penetrate against Burakovsky, which is three on two, which is one to ten. He's going to do it. Now roll the five, so Engvall's right in there. He's going to shoot number six. It is a goalie rating. Well, Engvall deeks on the three on two. And goalie rating and Kemper. Roll an eight, save. Any forward gets control. So Kemper again comes up with another big save. It goes over to anybody on Colorado. Now these guys are all twos. So I'm looking for my best passer here. Probably going to give it to Burakovsky. Yeah, I think I'll give it to Burakovsky. Uh, two on two, outside shot for any player. So he is going to give it to Psycho Connor's a three, Confer's a three. Now Confer's a better shooter on the inside. So because they rotate, I'll give it to O'Connor for the outside shot. Uh, seven kicked him over the right deep. Hall picks it up, lose to the opponent. And I think I'm just going to quit there. Mm -hmm. We've got about 20 minutes into the video. So that's how you play Stratomatic Hockey. This is my mm -hmm. final for the 2021-22 series, Colorado and Toronto. So hopefully that helps you understand how to play. It flows quite quickly, quite a fun game. I love the cards of Stratomatic Hockey. And uh, that's all for today, folks. Talk to you later.